hiding behind this night riding gang that call themselves vigilantes. That's right. Somebody had to step in and stop the rustling. I don't know what your game is, Kirby, but you're not hanging me because you think I'm a rustler. There was plenty of evidence that said you were guilty of rustling from the Halliday outfit. Well, false evidence can be planted. Well, I wouldn't know about that. Come on, let's get this over with, boss. I gotta eat. As far as I'm concerned, he was given a fair trial and found guilty. You'll pay off of this, Kirby. It's out and out murder, and you know it. Since when was it called murder to hang a rustler? And that's the way it'll stack up with everyone. All right, fellas, back to town. Take it easy, Doc. You've got a paw as heavy as a grizzly bear. I'm uh, doing the best I can. I ain't supposed to doctor humans anyhow. I'm a horse doctor. Well, you're better than nothing, I guess. But not much. Jeff Halliday, you ain't got a lick of sense, sir. You wouldn't have got yourself all busted up. At your age, you've got no business trying to ride a bad horse. Dad, they hung Dave Carson. I saw them. Oh, that's awful. They shouldn't have done that. I never could believe that Dave Carson was rustling for me. It didn't make sense. Anyhow, he, he was entitled to a fair and open trial. Did you see who they were? No. I was too far away. But I recognized Dave Carson's horse, and I'm sure he was the man they hung. What's got into this country, anyhow? Everyone acts like they're going loco. Folks being hung and range wars popping up like mushrooms. This used to be a nice, peaceful valley. You're right, Doc. And I don't know the answer. We never had so much rustling here before. And those night-riding vigilantes haven't stopped at any. All they've done is bring fear and suspicion. Everybody's jumpy and distrustful. Flying off the handle, starting feuds. Something's got to be done, Doc, and I don't know what it is. Well, it looks to me like everyone needs a dose of sulfur molasses to sort of clear up their thinking. Horrible to think of seeing Dave Carson die like that. It wasn't law nor justice. It was murder. I hate all this trouble and bloodshed. Sometimes I feel tempted to accept Steve Kirby's offer and sell out. <coughs> Take it easy, Doc. Oh, stop screaming. I'm doing the best I can. Dad, you couldn't sell a ranch. Oh, I guess not, honey. I'd never be happy anyplace else. I want to live the rest of my days right here. something to buzz about tomorrow. Yeah. When the folks start stewing about the rustling, we just hang them a rustler. That ought to keep them happy. <laughs> That's not the half of it. What's the matter with you, Vic? You look like the last rose or something. Well, I'm thinking we hung the wrong man this time. You mean you have doubts about him being guilty? You seem to forget that his nephew is Billy Carson. No man in his right mind is going out of his way to start trouble with that chunk of dynamite. I didn't forget. I'm very happy about it. Are you crazy? He won't be at all pleased when he finds out his uncle's been hung. I'm going to make sure that he does care about it. Howdy, boys. Oh. My mouth feels like a seven years drought. Give me a shot of bourbon. Having a lot of trouble with rustlers up our way. Ranchers are getting so jittery, they hang a man if he even looks sidewise to cow don't belong to him. You know, the last fellow that gets strung up was an old time rancher in the country named Dave Carson. You're mighty free with your talk about who you call a rustler there. Well, I'm sorry if I stepped on anybody's toes. I was just talking about what I heard. Who was the ringleader behind this hanging? Well, I don't know. Carson was accused of wrestling from Jeff Halliday, and then they had some trouble over some grazing land, so it's reasonable to suppose that Halliday promoted the hanging party. That's close enough. I can figure it out from there. Dave Carson happens to be my uncle. You could take it from me, he's no wrestler. 
sing that tune from now on if you feel Gabby. Stuck my neck out that time. Funny, I can't hear a thing. I reckon I better take her pulse. Her mule has been bitten by a rattlesnake. <laughs> I can't find any symptoms, but I'll have that back leg fixed up in a minute. Hey, she, she's gonna have to get up, or I can't duck to that hind leg there. Can't you get her up or something there? Or? There's Jeff Holliday. I'm going to have another talk with him. doctored more than his ornery mule does. There's nothing wrong with him. Hello, Jeff. Hello, Steve. Glad to see you up and around. Thanks. You'll have to slap his ears down, Miss Babbitt, if he gets ambitious to act like a two-year-old again. <laughs> I certainly will. Have you changed your mind about selling out to me yet? Why should I sell? I'm happy where I am. Hi, hey, Jeff. How's that bad arm of yours? Well, it's feeling pretty good, Doc, but I thought as long as I was in town, I'd have you take another look at it. Well, that's fine. Come out on in. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why is Steve Kirby so interested in buying your place? Well, it'd be a steal if he could get it at his price. He didn't offer me half what the ranch is worth. He's bought an awful lot of good stuff around here for a song since all this trouble started. Have yeah, a look at that. Not now, Hank. Billy Carson won't lose any time getting here, so watch for him. Okay, but I never did like playing with dynamite. Go ahead and remember what I told you. That might be Carson. That's Billy Carson, all right. Now remember, we're not supposed to hit him. Just give him the idea that Jeff Halliday is trying to beat him to the punch. All right, let him have it.
you take a shot at me? Uh, who took a shot at who and when? Don't you try to lie out of hell. Who's trying to lie out of what? Look for the holiday outfit. I don't work for nobody. I'm a horse doctor, a darn good one, too. I patch up a human now and then. But I like horses better. I guess I owe you an apology. <laughs> you owe me more than that. You darn near busted my neck and sprung my back all out of you. Sorry, everybody can make a mistake. Yeah, but you don't have to be so all fired violent about it. Listen, listen, I better hell on your horse. Come on. Oh, gee, I'm sorry, Doc. I'll help you on again. Uh, get away from me. You, you've done already. I'll do my own mount. Whoa, baby. Have it like you said, Steve. He's headed for town now and should be here any minute. I bet you could fry an egg on the back of his neck. Nice going. Now I'll take over. You stay here, Bert. There he is, in front of Doc's office. Anything more I can do for you, Doc? Yeah, you might come in and rub some liniment on my back, because I ain't double-jointed, you know. Okay. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. <clears throat> Get with them bottles of liniment over there. Okay. Uh, oh. I'll have to thank him sometime for being so obliging. Put it right on that way up. That spot right there. There we go. A little higher. Oh! Higher. <laughs> I'll have yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Hello, Jeff. Hello, Steve. Was out your way, thought I'd drop by and see how you were. Well, I'm feeling fine. Almost as good as new again. Uh, I'm glad to hear it. Hey, uh, Billy Carson just blew into town. He didn't say why he came, but you can bet he isn't here to pick strawberries. Well, what Billy Carson has on his mind is no concern to me. I have no quarrel with him. Well, I hope he feels the same way. You know, they say he's death and destruction when he's prodded into action. I know. I've heard about him. Thanks for dropping in. Uh, no trouble. Thought you'd just like to hear the news. Say, uh, Jeff, if you change your mind about selling, you know where to find me. Dad, I'm terribly worried about this. What are you going to do? I don't know. But if it's war they want, honey, I guess that's what's got to be. You could tell them you had absolutely nothing to do with Dave Carson's death. That would do no good. They'd only think I was trying to lie out of a fight.
I'm telling you, this promiscuous hanging's got to be stopped. It ain't slowed up the rustling none. It's got everyone on edge. Nobody seems to know who's behind it or who's apt to be picked on next. That's the cause of all the trouble around here. And I'm getting tired of picking bullets out of people. Give me a shot of that good bourbon. You did your job all right, Ed. Yeah, I headed Billy Carson this way, loaded for bear. All right, men, that's all I've got to say. I spoke my piece. Hello, Doc. What'd your friend Billy Carson have to say? What are you talking about? I don't know no Billy Carson. You just rode into town with him. I rode into town with him, so what? I... Was that Billy Carson? Oh, gosh, oh, my God. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What's the matter? Well, he told me he had an exterminating job to do. I thought he meant bugs or something like that. Oh, oh. Good. where you are. What's your business here? A lady bandit. That is new and different. I'm not a bandit. No? Isn't that a gun in your hand? Yes, it is a gun. And I know how to use it. Answer my question. What's your business here? I'm afraid it's not with you, lady. Maybe you're wrong about that. You can put your hands down now. Thanks. Is your name Billy Carson? It is. I've never had any reason to be ashamed of it. You mind telling me your name? I'm Bab Halliday. You're going to listen to what I have to say. Conversation can't be very interesting, Miss Halliday, if you have to hold me at the point of a gun to make me listen. You think this is funny? No, ma'am. A gun in anybody's hand is never very humorous. You think Dad had something to do with the death of Dave Carson. But it's not true, and I won't let you force him into a fight. I'm sorry, Miss Halliday. I can't deal you in. This matters between your dad and myself. I was on my way home the night that gang hung Dave Carson. I saw them at a distance, and Dad didn't know anything about it until I told him. There are a lot of mosquitoes around here. Do you think I'm lying? No, no, no. You can't never blame a girl, you know, for trying to protect her dad. And I will. Your life isn't as important to me as his. You know, you shouldn't try to play, play bandit, Miss Halliday. That's a man's job. Halliday? That's right. I'm Bill Carson. I guess the name's familiar. Thought you'd be a... I was. Why aren't you healed? No reason for it. Carson's death? One that'll gang up on a man to hang him isn't very apt to stand up and say so. Well, you can believe me or not. That's your business. I don't believe you, Halliday. And I don't like to kill a man who won't fight back. If my Uncle Dave wasn't given a chance, he was murdered. Very well, if that's the way you want it, that's the way it'll have to be. That's exactly the way I want it. Start shooting, Halliday.
no, hurry, Fuzzy. making a terrible mistake. Jeff Holliday was thrown by a horse. I was here right in this room, doctored him when they hung Dave Carson. Carson was accused of rustling Holliday's stock. Who else had any quarrel with him? Well, the hanging was done by a night riding gang. Nobody knows who they are, but Dave Carson isn't the only man they went after. I could be mistaken, Halliday. Well, I doubt if there's a man alive that never made a mistake. That's true enough. If I find that there's anybody else responsible for this murder, I'll apologize. I'll be here when you feel like apologizing. Uh, Jeff and uh, Dave Carson had some disagreement, but that didn't stop me from being good friends to both of them. And uh, I'd like to help find a man that promoted that hanging. Well, thanks, Doc. I could use a little help. See, I'm a stranger in town here. I bet you know the gossip about everyone. Yeah. What does he mean, gossip? Hello there. You're quite a traveler. Yeah, I like to circulate. So I noticed. Here you've taken over the Dave Carson outfit. That's right. I'm the next to kin. Any objections? No, none at all. I uh, hold his note for fifteen thousand. I suppose you'll take care of that. You see, the trouble he was having with Jeff Holliday cost him a lot of money, so I made him a loan until he could get on his feet. That was right nice of you. You know that that doesn't look like Dave Carson's writing. Meaning that I'm a liar? Don't go putting words in my mouth, mister. I said it didn't look like he's writing, that's all. What do you think, Doc? I don't know. I can't swear that it is, and I can't swear that it ain't. As far as I know, Dave never pressed for money. What you know means nothing at all. I'll lay your odds you don't even know you're alive. Why, well, you can't say that to me. Wait a minute. You, Doc, getting yourself mixed up in a saloon brawl? That's uh, Steve Kirby insulted my intelligence. That wasn't much to fight about. No, it wasn't, but I, uh... You're a stranger here. Maybe you don't know we aim to keep law and order in this town. Uh, if you're so interested in law and order, Sheriff, why don't you round up that gang of murderers who call themselves vigilantes? Well, you point them out to me, and I will. If I could point them out, Sheriff, there wouldn't be anything left for you to do. Sheriff? Dave Carson owed me $15,000. And I expect that to be taken care of before anyone else has given legal title to that ranch. Well, that's legitimate. What do you say? 
Now, don't rush me, Sheriff. I want a little time to think it over. Come on, Doc. Doc, I smell something fishy about that $15,000 note. There's a lot of things around here that I don't like the smell of. It's about time somebody was doing some fumigating. Gun smoke is the best for that type of fumigating. Yeah. Well, I thought you did a pretty good job of copying that name, but you didn't seem to fool them 100 percent. It's good enough. And the way I've got things planned, we'll cash in on that note before we're through. Your plan to have Carson tangled with Halliday didn't pan out very well. All right, maybe that did misfire. Listen. We can knock off Halliday, throw suspicion on Carson. Everybody knows that he came here with that in mind. Then with Halliday out of the way, we'll have no trouble in scaring the girl into selling out. The vigilantes then can take care of Carson. Doc, what do you know about this fellow I was talking to in the saloon before Kirby came over? Well, I don't know much of anything about him. Name's Ed Slade. As far as I know, he seems to get along pretty well without working. Why are you asking about him? Oh, I don't know. Seems like he made a special trip to prod me into a fight with Halliday. I'd like to know the reason why. There he is now. He's coming out of the saloon. idea if I kept my eye on him for a while, it might lead to something. Yeah, it's worth a try. So long, Doc. I'll be seeing you. Hey! Hey! There's two of them. Hadn't I better go along with you? No, thanks, Doc. I'll try to be careful. Keep out of trouble this time. Halliday! Halliday! Yeah? What do you want? Oh, I just happened to notice that some of your stock seems to have drifted over to the Carson range. Well, thanks. I'll ride over and haze them back. Yeah, there was quite a few young calves among them. Uh, Looked like they're ready for the branding iron. Dad. Oh, nothing important. Just some of our stock is straight over on the Carson range, and I've got to go and bring them back. I'm going with you. No, you better stay at home, honey. It may uh, take a lot of hard riding.
Sheriff, I just found out that Halliday was murdered. I know all about it. Now, wait a minute. I didn't shoot him. That's your story. But I heard a different one. That's the one I believe. <laughs> what makes you think I shot Halliday? I heard the gunshots, and I saw you right away from where you left him lying, dead. Ed Slade shot your dad, Miss Bam. I was trailing him when you saw me leave there. I don't know what reason Slade had for killing him, but he did it in cold blood. Dad had no quarrel with Ed Slade. He had no quarrel with anyone but you. Doc, you saw me trailing Slade when I left town? Yep. I know that, all right. You figured he was up to some devilment. That's right. <laughs> I've heard a lot of poor alibis, but that's the worst of the lot. And I'll do all I can to make sure you hang for that murder. I was sorry to hear about your father, Miss Halliday. If there's anything I can there's do... There's nothing. Thank you. Poor girl. We certainly owe it to her to see that her father's murderer does a dance on thin air. You're making a big mistake, Sheriff. Sure. You're helping the murderer by deciding that I'm guilty and letting it go at that. There's a lot more behind this than just the killing of Jeff Halliday. I've heard that song before. And sung better, if you ask me. Sheriff, I've got $15,000 sunk in the Carson outfit, and he won't be able to run it. How about appointing me to look after the property so I can protect my money? Well, that seems fair enough. I'm not going to stand for it. I don't think you'll have much to say about it. See you later, Sheriff. You being in charge with this murder has turned out to be right handy for Steve Kirby. I was thinking the same thing myself, Doc. You'll have a long time with nothing to do but just sit and think. Now, come on. I'd like to see you after a while, Doc. You know, Sheriff, I won't be able to stay here very long with you. I got an important job to do. When you leave here, you won't be worrying about any job. Oh, I see. So long. You don't seem to think he's in serious trouble. Uh, maybe it'll grow on him. <clears throat> well, I gotta go. Hey, Sheriff. Are you feeling all right? Certainly, I feel fine. You look a mite peaked. Maybe your liver's out of whack. There's nothing the matter with my liver. Maybe not. I hope so. I'd rather have a rattlesnake inside of me than an ossified liver. Yes, sir. Uh, if it should ever get rambunctious, let me know. I've got a little tonic for it. Hello, Doc. Got a little patching up job for you. Yeah. Well, that's only a little scratch. Uh, see, that looks like a gunshot wound. Yeah, uh, it is, but it was an accident. I was uh, cleaning my gun that went off and just nicked me a little. That's too bad, eh? huh? Huh? I mean, it's too bad you had an accident. Oh. I'll fix you right up. Okay, Doc. back yet? Sure, he's back in town. Where is he? He got himself nicked with a bullet and stopped by docks to get patched up. Why did you let him do a fool thing like that? What's wrong with that? Plenty. They've got Carson hooked with a Halliday murder, but he claims he saw Ed do the killing and swap lead with him. Then Ed goes to that gabby horse doctor with a gunshot wound. That might add up to some folks, and we wouldn't like the answer. Maybe the doc's the only one knows anything about it. That's one too many. You've got to manage some way to keep his mouth shut. And we'd better speed up the plans we have for Carson. Fellas, you all know Jeff Halliday was a fine man. 
And every time I think of that killer coming here to murder him, the madder I get. That ought to take care of you. Thanks, Doc. That fixes me up just like new. Is that good? Good. Perfect. There you are. Well, I'll be seeing you. Hey, Doc. Doc! I wonder where that horse doctor is. I don't know. He was here a minute ago. Well, he ain't here now, and that could spell bad news for you. Well, it'll spell bad news for him if he tries to open his trap. It might be best if you stay clear of town for a few days. You could get busy on that Halliday angle. Okay. All right, men, up to the bar. The drinks are on the house. And if you don't get what you want, it's your own fault. <laughs> you want me to see? Well, what about it? Dropped out of sight. Hey, Ed Slade's got a gunshot wound. I seen it. Well, what about it? Don't that prove to you that Billy Carson was telling the truth? He'll have a chance to prove anything he can in court. And that's where it'll have to be proved. There's no doubt of Carson being guilty. And I don't see any sense in a court trial. Well, I'll bet you couldn't change your mind if I brought the corpse right here and he told you who killed him himself. That's right. Do you mind if I visit the prisoner? No, go ahead. Are you sure you feel all right? Certainly I feel all right. Open your mouth. I thought. You thought what? I can't understand how any human with all the symptoms of an ossified liver can say he feels all right. Maybe I'm wrong. Hey, wait a minute, Doc. You know, I do feel a little funny in here. I shouldn't bother with anybody as pig-headed as you are, but I hate to see any human suffer with an ossified liver. By the way, I just happen to have a little of that tonic here with me. Take a little swing. Oh, that's mean tasting stuff. Well, you can't whip an ossified liver with chocolate ice cream. Take a big swig. Good. Hey, hold on to me. I'm floating away. I'm in favor of making certain that he gets what's coming to him. Right off of the bat. Yeah. Come on. Hey, Doc. Hi, 
Hi, Doc. Hi. Hey, there's a mob on the way here, and I got a hanker, and they don't mean you no good. Somebody's mighty anxious to see me hung for murder. Yeah, they'll no, get the witch. You don't get out of here now. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, wait a minute. Open the door, will you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Open the door. Mm -hmm. Hurry up, hurry up. Dick said something to Ed Slade about the Halliday angle just before he rode out of town. That's the lead. I'll follow it up. Hey, what did you do with the sheriff, Doc? Oh, he's all right. Just take a little nap. Uh, get your gun from the desk. Hey, if you don't prove Ed Slade guilty, I'm in a mess. Uh, I got a horse in the back. Let's get out of here. A prisoner. Prisoner? What about him? He's not in the cell. Escape? Where's that horse doctor on? Skin him alive! Take no chances with Carson. Shoot on sight. Better get word to Ed that Carson escaped. matter to take up with you. I'm sorry, I don't feel like talking business. What you feel like doesn't matter. You get out of here. That's funny. I was about to tell you the same thing. Well, why don't you sell this place while you can and move out of here? I'll never sell this ranch. Maybe you'd change your mind if you and me were to take a little trip across the border. Now listen, you can save yourself a lot of trouble or you can do it the hard way. It makes no difference to me. Oh, no, you don't. Now listen, why don't you be sensible? Horse? It is, huh, Doc? Yep. Let's drop in on him and surprise him. Keep your gun on him, Doc. What's he doing here? He was trying to frighten me into selling out. Oh, now things begin to make sense. He's the one that killed your father. That's a lie. You can't prove nothing. You'll be just as dead whether I can prove it or not. I knew he had some reason for wanting to prod me into a fight with your father. That's why I was trailing him. Dawson. Come on inside. We've got a lot to talk about. Dr. Jones! Dr. Jones! Oh, I should have tied that mule's hind leg. Are you all right? Well, I'm fit as a fiddle. <laughs> I, oh, I remember. Got him, didn't I? <laughs> You're all wrong if you think I'm hunting you. That's the sheriff's business. That isn't what I want to talk to you about. What is it you want? I want you to tell me who killed Jeff Halliday and who the kingpin of your outfit is. Well, you're out of your head. I don't know who killed Halliday. You did, as far as I know. You better talk, Dawson. I've got nothing to lose. If you don't talk, I'll hang. I might as well hang you first. Well, how can I tell you something I don't know? I don't know of any kingpin or who killed Jeff Halliday. All right, Doc. Tie his hand.
Young, you got me all wrong. I'd tell you anything you wanted to know if I could. Miss Halliday, you can't stand by and see him murder me in cold blood. Hey, it's the sheriff. If you believe me, you'll keep him from coming in here. One peep out of you. Hello, Sheriff. What brings you out here? Well, the Carson escaped jail. We're hunting for him. You being the complaining witness, I thought maybe he might be headed this way. Maybe I better take a look around. Oh, uh, don't you suppose I would know if anyone had arrived? Sure. I suppose you would. Well, don't worry. We'll get him. She's all right. She sent them on their way. It's not so good for you, Dawson. Thanks, Bab. Doc, do you know where they murdered Uncle Dave? I do. No? The hanging tree isn't far from here. All right, Dawson, get going. Go on. Wait a minute. I'll tell you what you want to know. I'm not going to hang to save anybody. Ed Slade is the one who killed Halliday. I told you. And Steve Kirby is the big boss who gives the orders. He was cleaning up around here by starting trouble, then buying stuff cheap. Kirby, huh? Yeah. Keep talking. Well, those who wouldn't sell out, we gather up a bunch of the boys. And... I converse with you uh, in private? Oh, why, certainly. Come into my office. Now, who opened that window? I did. Go on. Reach for it, Kirby. Say, you had a chance to get away. Why didn't you keep going? For two reasons. The first, I'd like to get a hold of that forged note. Of course, I'll pass it right over. Then what? And I'm going to throw you in jail for murder. You're crazy. How can you charge me with murder? I killed Ed Slade, Kirby. And Vic decided he'd rather talk than die. Try it again in the morning. What's been keeping you, Sheriff? Come on. Put up them hands. I'm gonna lock you up for keeps this time. By the way, how's your liver, Sheriff? I'll take care of you next. Come on, march. What? Again? Again.
They're the men you want, Sheriff, and here's a signed confession. Read it over carefully. You know, Doc, he doesn't believe it yet. No? <laughs> I want to thank you for all your help, Miss Babb. We're going to be neighbors now. I hope I'm a good one. I'm sure you will be. Yes, uh, say, I'm sorry for what I've done to you, but uh, you understand, I hope. <laughs> sure, that's all right. <laughs> Just to show you that there's no hard feelings, say that you and I have a little drink. Well, huh? Sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> there you are. Yeah. That smells like good stuff, Sheriff. Where'd you get it? Looking at you, and to our health, eh? Yeah, well, uh, oh, uh. <laughs> well, uh, as you say, down your hatch. There she goes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's pretty good stuff. That's all. Hold oh, on to me, Doc. I'm floating again. Hey, what? hey, Doc, what's the matter with the sheriff? <laughs> that was supposed to be me. <laughs> <laughs> you mean you gave it to him? 